Florida is home to about 22 million people and about 90 different types of mosquitoes. Today, local scientists say just in time for rainy season, they have found a new breed of mosquito that we all really should be keeping a close eye on. Up close, it's the stuff of nightmares. I think that they're beautiful and I, I do recognize that that's just me. But not to Dr. Lawrence Reeves. Talking about the beauty of mosquitoes doesn't resonate with most people. This researcher at the University of Florida IFAS Entomology Lab in Vero Beach recently discovered a new type of mosquito. Looking at the DNA sequences and then seeing that they didn't match anything from the species that we know are here in the state, that was really the that kind of light bulb moment. Under the microscope, Dr. Reeves shows off the Culex lactator. This latest find has been spotted so far in Miami-Dade, Lee, and Collier counties. With mosquitoes, uh, we seem to be a bit of a hot spot for introductions or uh, establishments of these non-native mosquitoes. Reeves says how this latest specimen got here is unclear, perhaps carried by wind currents. But he adds the mosquito could spread throughout the state as one of six new non-native species to invade Florida in just the past five years. While mosquitoes are common around the globe and are often nothing more than a nuisance, the Culex lactator, which is native to Central and South America, needs to be monitored to see if it may transmit diseases like West Nile virus and encephalitis. Our most important uh, challenges with uh, mosquito vector disease are all caused by uh, non-native mosquito species that have come in from the tropics. Dr. Reeves says when we get into the rainy season, remember to remove standing water from your property to prevent mosquito breeding grounds. We need to be vigilant for these mosquitoes, and the best way that we can do that is by supporting our uh, local mosquito control districts. Because after Culex lactator, another new mosquito breed may not be far behind. In Vero Beach, John Shane, the WPTV News Channel 5.